Welcome, stargazers. Could you at any point trust it? Picture a heavenly occasion so enormous that it creates shaded areas on earth, apparent indeed even out so everyone can see. That is the scene we may be near the precarious edge of seeing in the Orion heavenly body. The star Betelgeuse is acting strangely, indicating an approaching cosmic explosion blast that will illuminate our sky more than ever. However, when will Betelgeuse go cosmic explosion, and what will it look like as indicated by researchers? What secrets could this heavenly occasion uncover? Go along with us as we plunge deep into the subtleties of what's actually the deal with Betelgeuse and the effect it could have on the planet, and maybe for the whole planetary group. Found roughly 650 light years from Earth in the heavenly body Orion, Betelgeuse isn't simply any normal star. It's a red supergiant, perhaps one of the most brilliant stars known to us, sparkling with a brilliance north of 100,000 times that of our Sun. However, for what reason does this red giant matter to such an extent to us? Well, Betelgeuse sticks out for its splendor as well as for its history and importance in human culture. Named after the Arabic expression Yad Alza, which means the hand of Orion, Betelgeuse has been noticed and recorded by ancient human civilizations for hundreds of years. It has been a guide for voyagers and a mark of marvel for stargazers, with its ruddy shade distinguishing it from different stars in the Orion heavenly body. Might you at any point imagine a solitary star overshadowing our whole solar system? To give some point of view, on the Kepler cosmic explosion, the sheer tremendousness of Betelgeuse, if it replaced our sun, its edges would stretch out the whole way to Jupiter. How could a solitary star at any point accomplish such epic extents? At 10 million years old, it's much more youthful than our 5 billion year old sun. Anyway, Betelgeuse's monstrous size means it drinks its materials at a much quicker speed, forecasting a more limited life expectancy than that of different stars. Now, the divine behemoth traversing a volume sufficiently larger to contain in excess of a billion of our suns is approaching an incredible finish cycle. When stars of such extent reach their sundown years, they don't simply disappear. They make a dramatic exit, a cosmic explosion blast that is beyond human cognizance with regards to its energy and brightness. Such an occasion has the potential to eclipse a whole world, creating shaded areas of brightness across immense infinite distances. The last time Earth saw a cosmic explosion blast this nearby was in 1604, some time before the development of present-day telescopes. This occasion, known as the Kepler Cosmic Explosion, was the last cosmic explosion to be seen in our Milky Way with the Undi, staying noticeable for north of a year and a half. It was more brilliant than any other star in the night sky and surprisingly stayed noticeable during the day for quite some time. What secrets do these heavenly remnants uncover to us? Ancient records from different human civilizations, including Chinese and European cosmologists, reported the appearance of this new star intriguingly. What secrets do heavenly leftovers uncover? Remnants of this blast, in the structure of a growing flatsome and jetsam cloud, can in any case be noticed today with refin telescopes, giving us experiences into the vicious closures of monstrous stars. Generally, supernovae have been uncommon for eyewitnesses on Earth, yet imagine for a second a heavenly explosion so intense that it rivals the splendor of a full moon, creating shaded areas on Earth around evening time and being noticeable during daylight. The radiation from such an occasion would charge our atmosphere, possibly influencing satellite tasks and perhaps even the environment. Betelgeuse, with its capricious diminishing patterns, suggests it very well may be preparing for just such a stupendous scene. Might we at some point be on the edge of seeing one of the universe's most sensational occasions? Seconds ago, space experts made a frightening disclosure. Between October 2019 and mid-2023, Betelgeuse went through an astounding change that drew the consideration of stargazers and devotees overall. Known as the Great Diminishing, the star's brilliance, which had been predictable for quite some time, began to decline altogether. This unexpected change was obvious to such an extent that even relaxed stargazers saw it while contrasting Betelgeuse to different stars in the Orion star grouping. This implies that we're not only hundreds of years from seeing its cosmic explosion blast, but maybe just many years or even less. By April 2023, 
astronomical observations revealed that Betelgeuse had gotten back to its normal radiance levels, driving quite a large number to trust that the time of inconsistency had finished. In an amazing turn, the following months saw Betelgeuse's brilliance intensifying by a surprising half. Such notable vacillations, while normal for variable stars, were strange for a star like Betelgeuse, which had predominantly shown unsurprising glow cycles. The abrupt and extraordinary surge in its brilliance pushed the star back into the spotlight. For what reason did Betelgeuse toss a divine curve, igniting conversations about its short-term fate? In any case, what caused this unexpected change in brilliance? For what reason did Betelgeuse, one of the most familiar stars in our night sky, suddenly toss a heavenly curve? Stars are not simply shimmering dots in our night sky. They are dynamic substances with life cycles, activities, and secrets of their own. For some divine bodies, occasional splendor varieties can be expected, much the same as the beat of Earth's seasons. Throughout its heavenly lifetime, Betelgeuse has kept a genuinely predictable 400-day radiance cycle. Anyway, with the great diminishing, it appeared to challenge its laid-out conduct, testing our cognizance of the heavenly peculiarities above. Now, you may be pondering, are we very nearly a heavenly disclosure? While the specific explanations behind Betelgeuse's anomalies are still under examination, a convincing hypothesis has emerged. This hypothesis, zeroing in on heavenly movement and mass ejection, presents an interesting situation. Picture Betelgeuse as an epic divine spring of gushing lava, unobtrusively emitting and removing a tremendous amount of its matter into space. Past perceptions from the Hubble Space Telescope uncovered that Betelgeuse had recently removed an enormous sum of its surface material into the universe. This removal, a stupendous occasion, was 400 billion times the mass regularly delivered during comparable solar phenomena, identical to a few times the mass of our moon. Such occasions can bring about the arrangement of a thick residue cloud around the star, impacting its obvious brilliance and briefly making it seriously challenging to notice. Then, as this residue began to scatter or was driven away by the power of the star's radiation pressure, the cover lifted. This could explain its ensuing revisitation of ordinary splendor levels. One way or another, these new occasions suggest a star that is not wrapped up in amazing us. Many theorize that Betelgeuse may be moving toward the twilight of its life. What is a cosmic explosion? A cosmic explosion is an astounding explosion of energy that can dominate a whole universe immediately. This peculiarity happens when there is a sudden change in the star's core. Such changes can arise if a star absorbs too much matter from an adjoining star, or for Betelgeuse's situation, it very well may be from the depletion of its atomic fuel, which overflows its mass into the core, setting the stage for a calamitous breakdown. Yet, what drives an enormous star like Betelgeuse to its end? Brought into the world from the gravitational breakdown of gas within atomic mists, stars like Betelgeuse launch their process by consuming hydrogen in their cores. This underlying stage, known as the principal arrangement stage, endures for a long period and forms the spine of a star's life. As a star runs out of hydrogen, they advance, embracing new energy sources. In the case of Betelgeuse, as the hydrogen drains, it begins to consume helium, prompting the development of carbon and oxygen. This change from the principal arrangement stage to the helium-consuming stage is marked by the star's venture into a red giant. With time, as helium reserves reduce, the star undergoes further development and shifts into other consuming stages, each described by the combination of increasingly heavier components. The greater the star, the faster these advances happen, given the tremendous gravitational tensions at play. Then comes the peak when iron begins forming at the center. Unlike lighter components, iron does not release energy when combined, so the energy produced isn't sufficient to resist the star's own crushing gravity. The star inflates in size and makes a collapse followed by a huge rebound effect, resulting in the explosive power of a cosmic explosion. So, is Betelgeuse near the very edge of an explosive end, or just being ongoing research by Japan's Tohoku University suggests that the star may be in its carbon-consuming stage at the moment? Lead specialist Haka believes that the core could implode in a couple of years. 
Is Betelgeuse near the precarious edge of an unstable end after its carbon reserves evaporate? However, not all researchers agree. Contrasting studies from Hungary's Konkoli Observatory estimate that Betelgeuse is still in the earlier helium-consuming stage. The one thing that researchers do settle on, paying little heed to these discussions, is that Betelgeuse is scheduled to turn into the Milky Way's next cosmic explosion. Yet, nailing down the timing of this occasion remains an inestimable guessing game, with wagers going from only many years to 100,000 years. Amidst these logical debates about Betelgeuse's destiny, one reality remains unchallenged, the very nature of our perceptions when we gaze toward the brilliant territory. There's an unpretentious oddity we often disregard. This notion of time lies at the core of our understanding of heavenly bodies.